Hi, good morning. It's Gene from Avstar Observatory. Okay, I'm going to do this one video and then hopefully we get back down to some serious science. And the reason why I want to do this is I think what's been happening is we've been having new subscribers come on um, and, you know, there seems to be some confliction with how they think we run things at the observatory. Um, just to give you an example, um, and before we get into this, you know, I want to say big thanks to those people that do support us on pay Patreon, uh, PayPal, and also our superstars who have got the magnetometers. And, uh, you know, big and special thanks to John, who, you know, um, he's right, I think, you know, with a lot of his comments. And not only that, you know, he has also uh, supported us, um, you know, a couple of times now with a little bit of funding. I think, you know, um, people need to uh have a little bit of thought before they start writing comments like um Han Andrew has here um Ardingham. um I'll just read you his comment all you do is moan uh, about people not giving you money if I had an observatory I would not be asking skint people to pay for my employment you clearly have plenty of coin uh, with your observatory and equipment uh, you sent all over the world I don't even have a car, a house, but you almost have uh, a go at everyone because nobody will give you their money. People are skint, especially with the way things are today. Stop moaning about the amount of money people are not giving. And uh, I don't know, uh, he has written more here. Let me just, uh, I'll let you read it. But but the point is here, it's um, a common misunderstanding. You know, we do have a lot of equipment. If it was purchased by me, it'd probably be around about £200,000 worth of equipment that we use at the observatory. I'm um, talking about everything. Um, but it wasn't. It was... Uh, the money to build these things was donated by the general public uh, internationally from all over the world. Australia, New Zealand, um, the UK, Europe... America, Canada, etc. And none of the people that have got the equipment in their homes around these locations of the world are on a payroll. They do it for free. But I can't, you know, keep putting my hand in my own pocket for equipment. You know, the idea is here is we keep it fun publicly funded so that people um, are not shut out in the dark with the information that we get. If it was as I've explained before, if we was working for NASA, do you think they would ever allow us to talk about uh, this subject in the way we do without some form of uh, filtering of the information that we give out? Do you think that they want people uh, of the knowledge that the magnetic poles are still migrating and it's proven every month by our observatory? You know, the idea is here is like John Baxter says there, pulling resources together in hard times helps, you know, and, uh, you know, sharing the burden between lots of people enables us all to get something out of it. Um, you know, another thing that, that really, really annoys me, and I have blocked several people, and, you know, for making comments like Andrew's here, because they just don't understand, uh, you know, what goes into all this work i mean we run a website we update um you know people every other day uh regarding majority the magnetic pole reversal or any other man uh, you know um anomaly that is taking place that we feel is relevant for you guys to understand and be aware of um but you just watch uh, what happens at the beginning of some of these videos as soon as they go on if you're lucky enough to be around you know within the first minute somebody has already thumbed it down and clearly if the min if the uh, video is 15 minutes long how could they have watched all the content or listened to all the content of the video before making a decision to thumb it down I don't know if these people that are making these comments are paid uh, interferers but they certainly do encourage when they start other people to join them and um, you know it just causes disruption and what we're trying to do here is you know raise a little bit of funding expand the observatory 
and collect more data in turn so that we're informed more about this absolutely genuine and real anomaly that is a rare one that is taking place in our earth now this morning and i'll probably you know go over some of these uh, articles that i've been reading uh, recently because i like to stay up um you know up to date with the information that's available on the magnetic pole reversal that comes from other organizations and reading some of these articles that even scientists within nasa um are talking about in these articles they completely appreciate some of the risks involved in an earth that goes through a magnetic reversal there are also some which i would not agree with um uh for instance i don't believe that you know um, unless we start getting a rotational axis that we're going to start seeing massive shifts in uh land being covered by oceans and you know extending shorelines um you know as a result of just a magnetic reversal i think you know we could easily blow it all out of proportion and i don't think there's any need to because you know clearly over the last 30 years we have seen some of the effects and how uh, the magnetic reversal has changed climate and like i always emphasize you know we are not just dealing with a single incident of the earth going through a magnetic reversal creating uh, problems with our climate we also have um you know a period which our sun is going through called you know commonly the grand solar minimum but that also is hindering the effects of radiation increase in the upper atmosphere and as a result leading to cloud seeding and making those jet streams a lot more sluggish you know we don't need to um you know exaggerate the seriousness of this anomaly any more than what we are uh, any more than what we need to sorry we are probably two and a half years away from a major incident taking place if the theory is correct based on some of the experiments i've conducted here and some of the research that i've looked at if the magnetic pole does cross the 40 degree mark of total migration over the last 120 years and start to accelerate we are going to see um our primary shield weaken considerably during that period of time when the magnetic poles leave the strong field lines and go into the weak field lines you know if we put that into context guys it is much more and far more serious than you know what we are seeing with this pandemic it is again a global incident that we will be dealing with only you know cancer rates will be increasing not just in human beings you know this will be affecting all biodiversity across all the range that includes vegetation trees shrubs plants crops more importantly and you know um animal species including ourselves human beings so we don't need to blow it out of proportion it's a serious matter and i think that there is a lot of people who appreciate what I do, uh, you know, they understand. I try my very hardest to make this affordable for everybody. You know, we have not never put restrictions on who gets information. Although, you know, if it ever comes to that, you know, in order to ensure the continuity of this observatory, we will have to do that. But we're not there yet. That's all I'm saying. So it's not mandatory that people support it it is entirely in based on whether you want to or not you know if you feel what we do here at the observatory warrants a bit of support then the links are always stand there in the description for you to do that and you're not forced to do that and if you genuinely don't have the money to be able to afford to support us at the moment you are not being barred from any of the information the website is completely free and gets neglected with regards to um, support you know we have 7,000 people go on that website every week and in the last week I can tell you now no one has clicked that donate link uh, because it's separate from the one in the comment section here on this video that you're listening to so we know what's going on and we're still you know doing our best to keep people informed of this anomaly that the governments around the world are not forthcoming through with all the information so you know i hope i've cleared up a few things first of all you know we're not begging 
we're just saying look there's a link there if you want to support us then please do if you don't that's entirely up to you and you know i don't think you need to leave rude comments in the sections down there when you know clearly you know somebody is putting in a lot of effort for the benefit of the majority of the people that are interested in this topic like i said it is a very serious topic um you know this anomaly is something that we are living through right now it hasn't happened for many thousands of years before and there's no recorded data on it and something i want to get into tomorrow in the videos is um, some of the experimentation that has been conducted in order to try and understand what goes on inside our core with regards to modeling and things like that uh, so that they get a better idea and some of the flaws within those models uh, that they are currently using I think what we're doing is probably the best um, to gain information you know I wish I had 30 or 40 magnetometers around the world in different locations because we would get a broader understanding of what is going on and we are trying to push more magnetometers out right now in front of me i've got two magnetometers sitting there ready to go out another muon detector ready to go out uh, into the field uh, we have got some uh, prime locations where we want to get those and hopefully this year we'll do it you know but um on top of everything else and the struggles that we've got financially at the observatory, we've also got some people that are, you know, hell bent on causing trouble in the comments section, and they do encourage other people to join in. And I, I think you know, you know, what these people need to do is just unsubscribe to the channel if it's not for them. You know, I think we would all uh, appreciate their uh, leaving as opposed to you know making such comments that are not true and some of them are really rude some of them are really personal it's not needed you know we're at a time where we need to like john says pulling our resources together in order you know for us to you know continue doing what we do this isn't a time for you know squabbling over petty things you know it's a serious topic our earth is going through some serious birthing problems and you know we are all going to feel the repercussions more than what we are today as a result of that so you know um let's hope that we can put this behind us now and move on and concentrate more on you know this anomaly than on the squabbling that's going on in the comments section okay with that having said that guys you know there is a link down there in the comment section if you want to become one of our supporters on patreon or you want to make a PayPal donation, the links are there. If you want to go over to the website, please do. It's free, and there is a donate link there. You can make a donation there if you wish to. It is not mandatory. The only other thing to say, guys, is what I usually do. Take care of your loved ones, and I'll be back tomorrow with an update with related topic information. Okay, bye for now.